Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, where we delve into the profound narratives and timeless truths of the scriptures. Today, we embark on a journey through the book of Ezekiel, a text rich with symbolism and visions that challenge and enrich our understanding. Have you ever felt lost or faced hardships that left you questioning? Join us as we explore the messages of hope and restoration within Ezekiel's prophecies. Stay tuned, and let's uncover the divine mysteries together. The Book of Ezekiel is a compilation of the messages, visions, and emblematic deeds of Ezekiel, a prophet in exile who resided with other displaced individuals in Babylon. This book of prophecy is replete with vividly symbolic imagery and radical deeds, reflective of a man with intense devotion and deep spiritual insight. It grapples with the devastating event of Jerusalem's and the Temple's annihilation. Featured within its pages is a magnificent vision of God's throne chariot, declarations of divine judgment upon Judah and Jerusalem forecasting their ultimate downfall, denunciations of neighboring nations, and a series of symbolic acts and visions. The narrative culminates with prophetic glimpses of the lands and the temple's eventual renewal, alongside the enduring return of the Lord's glory to Israel. Ezekiel presents a challenging yet enriching text, brimming with symbolism and allegory. It portrays an impactful vision of God as the sovereign ruler over history and the arbiter of nations. The book repeatedly emphasizes the grandeur of God and the reverence and splendor associated with the Lord, both in acts of judgment and compassion. Its theological narrative speaks to Israel's shifting political scene amidst tumultuous times. Why is Ezekiel so important? Ezekiel is significant because it delivers divine verdicts upon Israel and its neighboring countries, while also casting a vision of the forthcoming millennial realm that augments the revelations found in other biblical scriptures. The book vividly depicts the revival and renewal of God's followers, and it illustrates the re-established temple in Jerusalem, crowned by the re-entry of God's splendor to his sanctuary, from chapters 40 to 48. This final portion of Ezekiel's prophecies anticipates the era of devotion following Christ's second coming during which he will govern over Israel and all nations from his throne in Jerusalem throughout his millennial dominion. The central theme of Ezekiel's message is not that God exiled the Israelites merely as a form of punishment. Instead, the exile served a greater purpose, to lead his people towards repentance and humility before the Almighty. The Israelites had become entrenched in sin and defiance, relying on their own might and the support of neighboring nations. They required a profound reminder of God's sanctity and their own modest place. Thus, after numerous warnings, prophecies, and invasions, God took a decisive step, he removed his people from their land, not out of a desire for retribution, but to restore their relationship with him. Where do I find it? Ezekiel is the 26th book in the Old Testament, it comes between Lamentations and Daniel. Who wrote the book? The authorship of the book is credited to Ezekiel, the son of Buzi, who was both a priest and a prophet. Raised in a priestly lineage in Jerusalem, he later lived among the Jewish exiles in Babylon. Historical details about Ezekiel's personal life are sparse within his own writings. The narrative is penned in the first person, yet it reveals only minimal aspects of his existence. We know he was married, with the sole mention of his wife concerning her demise. While it's unlikely that Ezekiel penned the entire text, the book is a reflection of his divine encounters, prophetic messages, and emblematic actions. When was it written? The prophecies within the book date from about 593 to 571 BCE scholars generally accept that the basic form of these prophecies originates from the experience of exile. It may have been some years until the book as we have it was compiled and edited by Ezekiel's followers after the exile. Ezekiel's prophetic ministry revolved around the small exiled community at Tel Aviv. These people had been uprooted from their homes and livelihoods, living as strangers in a foreign land. Imagine the disorientation and confusion they felt. Despite their involvement in sinful behavior that led to God's judgment, they still wondered why these hardships befell them. We can relate to this predicament. Sometimes we find ourselves asking, why, Lord, and waiting in silence for an answer. The exiles waited five years for God to send Ezekiel, and when he did, the prophet delivered a message they likely didn't want to hear, God is the Lord of heaven and earth, and their suffering was a consequence of their own sin. The book of Ezekiel serves as a reminder for us to seek the Lord during our darkest moments, examine our lives, and align ourselves with the one true God. Will you consider doing so today? As we conclude our exploration of Ezekiel's powerful messages, we're reminded that even in exile, there's a path to renewal and hope. What lessons can we draw from the Israelites' journey? How can we apply Ezekiel's insights to our own lives? Reflect on these questions and share your thoughts with us. Remember, Celestial Chronicles is here to guide you through the scriptures, inviting you to seek, question, and find solace in the divine narrative. Until next time, keep pondering, and may your spiritual journey be as enlightening as the prophet's visions.